morning I am having, um, this time yellow squash zotes or oats. It's basically one shredded yellow squash and a quarter of a cup of rolled oatmeal in water. And I just sweeten it with cacao and a little bit of plant-based uh, protein. And I've topped it with cacao nibs and frozen berries. And I also mixed in a third of a frozen banana to cool it off. But I have it on this pretty little plate. Uh, I got these from Yes Style uh, to go with my cherry blossom theme. I've really been enjoying them. Um, so yeah, I'm having that. And I just put some boiling water on a quarter of a cup of almonds to soak. I think I'm gonna whip up some almond milk. You guys, this candle from Mrs. Myers. It's the uh, clove, orange clove scent. I got this on iHerb a while back. It smells so good. I hope they still have some in stock. I may get a few more. Uh, it's like a perfect fall, fall scent that's kind of non-traditional. Like it's not your typical apple pumpkin spice. So if you are over those scents, this is a good one. Um, it's just a nice subtle orange and with a hint of clove. It's really nice and it's, it's really putting out a good, a good amount of fragrance as well. And I love these reusable little jars too. Hey guys, happy Saturday. I've got the large mug going right now of the good stuff. Anyways, I have a ton of stuff to share with you guys. Uh, kind of like little items, bits and bobs and things like that. Uh, first off, I picked up kind of impulsively this book, The Art of Racing in the Rain. I don't know about you guys, but anytime they make a movie out of a book that I have not read, I have a strong compulsion to read the book, regardless of the topic. That's kind of why I read that Where'd You Go Bernadette book in anticipation of seeing the movie. And I kind of want to see this. It looks good. And so I started reading, reading it late last night. I read like the first 30 pages. It's really cute. It's written like from the perspective of a dog who's owned by a guy who races cars. Um, it's really cute so far. Just like, you know, a lighthearted read, but I have a sinking feeling that it's going to have a very sad ending or sad parts to it. Um, there's some foreshadowing, so I'm bracing myself for that. But yeah, it's a nice light, lighthearted read. And <clears throat> I got some new jewelry in the mail because um, you guys know I love Ana Luisa. And I, one of the things I love about their jewelry is that it all goes together really well. And I was, now that my hair is longer, I've been wanting some earrings that are a little bit bigger. Um, not like full on like statement earrings, but I feel as though the little earrings get lost more when my hair is down and long, you know, long and down. I just kind of like more of a medium size earring. So I got some new earrings, but I love Ana Luisa. They, um, their designs are really just very tasteful. I think they work with like, top designers on their jewelry and they use a lot of recycled materials in their jewelry um, a lot of pieces are gold plated but some of them are actual solid uh, 14 karat gold they're like um, I think you can find them under the um, tab fine jewelry they also have some sterling silver pieces as well um, but it's like minimal kind of a nice minimal design it's not over the top um, I don't like really statement jewelry that much. I just like really muted things uh, that are kind of delicate and go well with things. So yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Anna Luisa. So let's see what I got. I love that everything always comes in these cute little drawer boxes. And I think the next thing I'm gonna show you is some stickers. I think what I'm gonna do, I have tons of these I've just been saving. I think I'm gonna like make a cute little, um, uh, <laughs> I'm going to stack them and make a little storage center for stickers. I think these are just perfect for that. And I've got about four or five of them. Anyways, let's see. Um, yeah, not only do they come in the cool little um, drawer box, but they also come in a nice um, velour velvet um, bag, which is great. Uh, this is how I store my jewelry when I travel. Oh, first up I got this cute little um, solitary pearl necklace. This pairs really well with, I have another necklace from them that has like blue, it's called lapis, 
um, little blue delicate beads on a chain and uh, this is gonna go really well with that because that one um, hangs a little bit lower than this I think so I think that's gonna be really pretty with like a black v a black v-neck tank what I always wear I think it'll look really nice so I got that and I also got um, some silver hoops I wanted to have some silver because I think in the cooler months silver is really a nice uh, a really a nice metal to go towards like just the colors that I wear, I wear a lot more blacks and grays, particularly, you know, in the winter time. And I don't have a good pair of silver hoops. So these look really nice. And like I said, they're not, they're not as tiny as what I typically get. They're, they're slightly larger. So they'll be a little bit more noticeable, which is kind of what I was going for. Not, you know, boom, <laughs> like, uh, uh, like around in the nineties, uh, like J Lo, big hoops. <laughs> uh, anyways, all right. What's next? Oh, these I thought were really cute. They um, are like these little hoops, flat hoops that are white with a little kind of a pink swirly design to it. Almost hinting at floral. I thought that was really pretty. And again, it's subtle, um, so that. I also like to wear a lot of like ballet pink and gray, obviously. I thought that would not look nice with, with those colors that I tend to wear. Yeah, I get a lot of wear out of my little gold hoops from them. And then I also have some gold balls that I love to death. I only have one hole in my ears, each earlobe. But if you have like two, I think that'd be cute to do like the little there's a little delicate gold hoop and then the gold ball. I think that would be a cute, cute way to combine them. But I was really excited for these. These are kind of my bigger earrings. They're larger gold hoops. I thought these were so pretty when I saw them. Um, they're, I just love the shape of these earrings. I think they're gonna look really good. In fact, I think I'm gonna put them on now. They have one of those type of closures. These are, these are gold plated, I believe. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like those. Check the description box. I have a coupon code. If you guys at all are all interested in buying any jewelry from Anna Luisa, I highly recommend. I've been very happy with all of their jewelry. And I, I love jewelry. It's kind of like my little, my little guilty pleasure, if you will. Then I also got, this came the P.O. box. You guys know I go through dental floss very quickly because I eat a lot of produce, it gets stuck in my teeth. I spend a lot of time flossing my teeth and I spend a lot of money uh, on dental floss. But this company, Coco Floss, sent me these cool uh, dental floss, flosses, floss eye. Uh, this is a company from San Mateo, California. Soft fibrous Coco Floss with coconut oil and coconut to scrub your pearly whites ultra clean. So they sent me their fresh coconut flavor. I think it's so cool. It's like biodegradable. Um, wild hibiscus. I'm gonna have way too much fun flossing my teeth now. <laughs> and summer watermelon. So I, they, this appeared in my PO box. Thank you to the company for sending me that because I definitely use a lot of dental floss. Yeah, and they even sent a little sticker. How cute is that? It's like a little tooth with a hula skirt on. Ah, oh, I love that. That's gonna be really cute on like a water bottle or something. Oh, I also got, um, I ordered some of these peak tea crystals. I got this jasmine flavor. I tried these a while ago and they are so good. I got this jasmine flavor and I got one other one. Did I bring it over here? No, let me go get it back quick. Yeah, I got the jasmine tea crystals and then I also got the um, ginger elixir crystals. What this, what these are, it's cold brewed tea, cold, cold brewed crystallization. So it's just tea that's been like crystallized and then you can dissolve the crystals in your water bottle and have iced tea, which I love. You can also put these in hot water and have them hot. 
but um and you know guys know i love my beverage sticks so i got to try these recently and they were really good so i ordered some the ginger one i'm looking forward to trying but i've had the jasmine and it is really good I also got a sticker order in the mail from a sticker planner supply order in the mail from YesStyle. Did you guys know that YesStyle has a ton of stationary planner supply stuff? Beware, if you are a planner person into planner supplies, don't say I didn't warn you. They have a lot on there and it is so tempting. And I got a ton of cute stuff. First of all, I got some new pens and I tried a few of them. I've been trying a few of them out. I got my order a few days ago but I've been trying the pens out and I'm pretty pleased with them. They were really inexpensive. First up, I got this box of 12 gel pens with these adorable cats on them. Uh, I can't remember how much these were, but they were pretty cheap. It's 12, 12 pens that you get. And the pens themselves are really adorable because they have uh, like, they're like a little cat and it even has a little tail. I just think that's so cute. And then the pen on the pen, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little cat design. They're really cute. Anyways, it's black ink and it's really fine uh, point, 0 0.035 millimeters, which I love in certain situations, but particularly in my planner, uh, you know, you can really pack a lot more in with a fine tip. These, um, because they were so inexpensive, I was like, I don't know how, how good the quality is gonna be. I have been writing with them. I wouldn't say they're the best fine tip uh, point quality pen. I wouldn't say they're the best quality pen that I've ever used, but for the price, um, I'm pretty happy with them. They skip a little bit, but they do deliver a pretty smooth um, smooth uh, output once you once you get writing with them. So I've been really happy with these. And similarly, as far as the ink output and the of the line uh, are these cute little, it's by the brand Viance, uh, cute essentials, these Sakura cherry blossom pens I got. You guys know I'm into the cherry blossom. And I haven't tried writing with these yet, but I couldn't pass them up because you guys know I'm a Nutcracker fanatic. I love everything Nutcracker and they have these adorable Nutcracker pens. Aren't they cute? So I got every single one on there because I just thought they were so adorable. <clears throat> yeah, I had to get every, like I think every single one that they offered. I went a little bizarre because I, I mean, I write constantly, so it's not as though you can never have enough pens. And these are so cute. Aren't they? I think they're gonna look adorable come Christmas time, like in a little, in a little just glass jar or something on my desk. How festive! I love this guy <laughs> and him. Oh, they're so cute. So I got those. <clears throat> um, okay, then I also got these circle stickers for my planner. These are very functional for making lists and whatnot. Yeah, I've had this from Erin Condren. I haven't actually used it. My mom uses these, but it's like a little envelope and then you can adhere this to it and then you can put it on your coil. Then I thought these were adorable. This little home, home life series. There are these little girl characters. There's a little desk. There's this little, um, uh, little thing of hanging up bags, a cute little cat. I just thought they were sweet. I really like those. Um, so they're gonna go in my planner. Yeah. Then I also got these like different foods. <laughs> I thought they were cute. Uh, it's like going to the grocery store. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna take it out of the packaging so that I can put it in my envelope. Aren't they cute? I like little foods and things. Then I also got this diary deco pack. It's nine sheets of different stickers. They're really also very cute and simultaneously functional. Like they're little buildings and things. And I, I just really like that they're sort of unique, you know? Um, they're, they have some that are kind of festive for the holidays. This little happy sayings, play with me, that's good for for Ty B. Aren't those pretty to make like nice borders? And I really like that. 
decorate up your page. Then from that same uh, like home life series, I also got these cute um, ones of the girls with like plants and stuff. I just feel like this uh, series of stickers really, really captures the introvert pleasures. So I really like that. But yeah, that's everything that I got from YesStyle. Oh, and the light just went down, so everything's turning a little yellow. But yeah, um, I'm really happy with these. They're so cute. Totally a rabbit hole on the YesStyle home planner supply section. So beware, don't say I didn't warn you. Hi, B. <laughs> Are you happy to be here? <laughs> You want to say hi to everyone. You got a new rug here. It looks nice. Where'd you get this? Target? Costco. Good old Costco. Hi Happy Saturday. He wants a he wants a Riley. I brought him some. I brought him these. He loves these. They're um I get them on IR. They're just <laughs> excuse me. Uh they are they're pretty tasty actually. I've eaten them before. This is oh. a tasty apple recipe. It's just um apples and oats and peanut flour oh. and um coconut oil and cinnamon. And he enjoys these. They're little. Tastes good? You're supposed to eat it over your dish, but you won't tell anybody. You did a good job with that and didn't make a mess. Okay, they are awfully tiny. We'll give you one more. I've been really good today. It's hot out there. It's actually a little cooler than it has been. Yeah, I noticed this morning when I went out, it felt a good bit cooler. Did you start reading The Reckoning? What do you it's think good. of it? It's I enjoyed it, yeah. Um, I, I go through phases where I have a little bit of lag in my reading. Yeah, I do that too. Right now. I just started The Art of Racing in the Rain the, when oh, they made a movie. Good. Yeah, I got it at Costco because whenever they make a movie out of something, I always want to read the book. So. I read that book. It's very good. The yeah, it's cute. Super... I, I have a feeling it's going to be sad. but. It has some... Yeah, I have a feeling very it's going to be sad. But. Are those new shorts? They're very cute. No, I've had these. They're from Fabletics, but thanks. I've got my athlete funeral garb on. Man, like, yeah. yeah, he, he certainly is coordinated <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, he's taking it easy time. What's it about? Um, you want me to tell you what it's about? My mom's talking about a. It's a, called a. The a Haunting hunt. of Hill House. It's a mini series? Um, I, it's a book, but then they're making kind of a, a TV series out of it mm -hmm. because the, it has seasons. This is season one. Okay. What's it's it about? It's about a family and the five kids and the parents. And they live in this house, this mansion, while they're renovating it to sell. Uh -huh. And then all of these paranormal things start happening. Yeah. But the, it's kind of neat to see it on TV, the way they're showing all the, the character interactions. But it's really creepy. I don't know if I'm going to keep watching Do you think I'd like the book? No. Well, I, when, I remember reading uh, The Shining and really enjoying that. Yeah. I, I like the book, The Shining, better than the movie. Yeah, me too. Um, I, I just enjoy it more. Yeah. I tried to read, um, it was kind of a, stuff, a prequel, or maybe it's a sequel to The Shining, mm -hmm. where it's more about that character. Yeah. The main guy. Mm -hmm. It got me too creeped out, I couldn't finish it. Yeah. I've really gotten into that. And that's what I've been doing most of the week is binging on that. And 
<laughs> you know, it's like, oh, season three. And then, and then, and then it stops at season three. There's two more seasons. But they're not on Netflix yet. Do you but think I would like Better Call Saul? It's Call? really good. Really you just... good. I mean, it's got a super duper in-depth character development, which is what I really like. You watched the other one recently again. Yeah. You, what's it called? Uh, Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad. Is that, so is Better Call Saul part of that? Type of, yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's a prequel. You're a little pesty. <laughs> yeah, Shirley Jackson. Calm down. Wow, man, a pornia. You're not gonna do a Don't Kindle touch book. The Kindle? <laughs> it was written in 1959. And so it was hailed as a perfect work of unnerving terror. <laughs> That's what Tybee thinks he is. That terrifying. Oh. oh too. So you're gonna read it, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna read that next for Halloween. If I can. I think that might disturb me too much. Cujo over here. <laughs> Wasn't that another Stephen King book, Cujo? Yeah. Sometimes he is turning into. But, um. Tybee is rather energetic today. Feeling your wild oats. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to conclude the vlog here. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. Bye. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Here, duck down so they can see. Bye, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>